2023, call Fanny Kaede to order OSM tells APC Presidential Campaign Council. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we we'll post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. Chief Femi Fane Kerde has been cautioned by the Usibanjo support movement over his recent comments concerning the Vice President Yemi Usibanjo. The group also called on the All Progressive Congress Presidential Campaign Council to call Fane Kerde to order for his remarks. The pro Usibanjo group accused the Minister of Denigrating the Vice President with his utterances during the television program. The Sibanja Support Movement, OSM, has called on, all, on the All Progressives Congress, APC Presidential Campaign Council, to call Chief Fanny Femi Kayode to order. According to the pro Sibanja group, recent comments made by the former Minister of Aviation on Sibanjo while speaking to a television station are unacceptable. Fanny Kayode is one of the spokespersons of the ruling party's Presidential Campaign Council. In a statement sent to the to Legit.Engine Sunday, December 11th, and signed by its Director of Media and Publicity, Babatunde Adejumwa, the OSM stated that, and I quote, It is troubling to read from a piece of insidious, from a piece of insidious deposition from former Minister Femi Fane Kaudi concerning his comment and criticism of His Excellency Prof. Yemi Sibanjo and reasons attributed to it. Nigerians of all calling and gender hold his excellency in utmost regard and unstable and hugely distorted characters like Femi Fane Kaede will not be allowed to spew gibberish and to go scot free with such. It is an insult to common, to common sense for Mr. Femi Fane Kaede to claim on channel television that he unleashed the rounds of baseless and thoughtless criticism on VP because he failed to protect the rights of Christians. This is far from the truth and a deliberately dishonest attempt at being upright. Femi Fane Kaede does not have the authority in anything to address the vice president in such an count and denigrating manner. His present role under the presidential campaign council of the All Progressive Congress and previous assignments under the People Democratic Party with no real record of accomplishment notwithstanding. The OSM asked the All Progressive Congress presidential campaign council to call him to order. We want to believe he is not running such errands on behalf of the council, but in the interest of his relentless pursuits to fill his belly and satisfy his band of unthinking apologists. The group noted that VP Osibanjo is a respected gentleman who Nigerian holds dearly, adding that FFK and the school travelers should seek caution and face their, resign, their assigned roads as required of them. The OSM added, any further attempt to saw the VP's name from Femi Fane Kaede or his ex will be treated as an attack on the presidency of Nigeria, and such will not be taken lightly. We call on all men of honor and integrity to stand for the truth always and stand firm against evil intentions persons like Femi Fane Kaede, whose only interests are located in the abdominal cavities and bank account. 2023 APC selling comedy of blunders. Party chieftain says, Dob Sunumbu. Meanwhile, Chief Ray Murphy, a chieftain of the All Progressive Congress from Cross River State, has left the party ahead of the 2023 general elections. Rejecting All Progressive Congress presidential candidate Bola Sunumbu, Chief Murphy, a special a former special advisor to the party's former national chairman, Chief John Oyegun, said the country deserves more than the comedy of gifts the All Progressive Congress is trying to sell to Nigerians. Murphy, a leader in the party's presidential campaign council in 2019, was also a pioneer member of the Buhari organization. Everything about Bola Tunubu is controversial, says Dilo Milayi. Meanwhile, another news on a spot, a spokesperson for the People's Democratic Party PDP Presidential Campaign Council, Senator Dino Melaye, has claimed that everything surrounding Tinubu is controversial. Melaye stated that this is the country, this is contrary to the People's Democratic Party presidential candidate Atiku Abubaka, whose public profile is clean and in public domain. 
Speaking on Chalon Television Politics today on Thursday, December 1st, Milaya claimed that the People Democratic Party presidential flag bearer has a verifiable historical background, unlike Tunubu. Now, let us start from the very beginning. FFKK Moss has said a lot of uncounting against the VP. And me, I was really pissed. I was saying, look at FFK. See FFK. FFK is coming out now. He's claiming he's fighting for the youth. <laughs> okay, well, make with the watch. He's claiming he's fighting for, I mean, the Christians now, not the youth. He's claiming he's fighting for the Christians and he's attacking the VP. Sincerely, at this point, eh, I just wish. All right. FFK has no permanent residence in any political party. He can be described as a political vagrant. So his utterances can just be ignored because we all know him as a talkative. Prof. Emil Sibanjo is not as class. Exactly. Koshi class soon. Femi Faneke Ode is only lobbying for what he might get from Bola Meisunbu if he eventually becomes the president. Femi Faneke Ode has no shame. What will he expect from someone that have destroyed his own personal families with mouth? Ah. Yea, in the interest of his relentless pursuit to fill his belly and satisfy his band of unthinking apologists, this is just a precise description of the man, Femi Fanekeudi, who served him right. His drug rehabilitation has not shown serious improvement. Everything about him is really disgusting. His marriage life, political and social life is in shambles. May God have mercy on him. Okay. Anybody chasing a madman in the street only increase. Anybody chasing a madman in the street only increase the number of the mad people indirectly. FFK was our in law before. We still remember why we took back our sister to Kogi. He has been on treatment all his life. So, well, to me, from that particular fresh news, FFK no try. You don't come outside and say things because saying things, you just want to say things. If FFK no start because they get people will be see, then they are ready to take on them. Huh. All right. And then for the second uh, news where they said uh, um, somebody dumped Tsunubu, you know, that APC is selling, the person just realized. Huh. The person just realized, well, it is really in defection. And it's not like, not like I'm surprised though. I'm not surprised because the party took over. Um, what's it called? But he took over. What's it called? What's it called again? But what I know is that um, at the end of the day, the man defected to PDP now. Like I, like I, what's it called? Like I've been having at the back of my mind now. You know, I still feel the northerners. I still feel they're going to run. They will just run Baba Street. Then for Dino Melaye. So for Dino Bela is saying everything about Tunubu is controversial. I think it's no longer a new issue. We've been having this issue for a very long time and he has not even come out to say